Okay, we're going to go a little deeper into polynomials and um, the terminology that's involved with it. Let's just try. When you see this word, an algebraic expression, what does it mean? It's a mathematical statement. It contains numbers, uh, symbols or variables such as x or q and something, and operators like plus adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Note that algebraic expressions do not have equal signs. They're not equations. Uh, you got to have, if it's an equation, it's got an equal sign. So this here, 2x plus 1, these things here are called terms. The terms are separated by the pluses and the minuses here. So um, that's, that's how that works. This is, um, so minus 3m minus 7m plus 2, that's an algebraic expression. We're going to learn a little bit more about some of the names that go with it. We have these very nice notes from a lovely Canadian textbook, and it's called a Pearson um, textbook that we're um, using. And a polynomial is one term or the sum of terms. One term or the sum of terms. Each one of these is a term uh, whose variables have whole number exponents. So they have to have a 2 or a 1 th like that. They can't be fractions, and we don't know, even know what that means right now, but they have to be whole number exponents. So this expression is an example of a polynomial, 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. This polynomial has three terms, and we actually call it a trinomial because it's got three terms. The coefficients are the numbers in front. See that minus 2, it's a coefficient. 3 is a coefficient. And 5 is called the constant term, the constant term. See, that's real important. We say that minus 2x has a degree of 1. Uh, the 5 has a degree of 0. And 3x squared has a degree of 2. We like to put it in the proper order. We put the leading exponent first. And that's... Um, Kind of a big deal, too. We can classify a polynomial, like I said before. If there's one term, it's called a monomial. Two terms is called a binomial. Three terms is called a polynomial. But any number of terms, poly means many, so it seems strange to me that one term is a monomial. But according to these Canadians, all of these are polynomials. Binomial for sure, but a monomial is a polynomial. Ooh, seems kind of weird. Maybe you should check that out. Maybe the Canadians are wrong. It seems something bad about that. And there's a few more things here. It's usually written in descending order. If you've got a polynomial like that, the, a polynomial like that, these two are really the same polynomial. They're equivalent. But um, we put the leading exponent first, minus 4k squared plus 2k plus 7. That's how you, you're supposed to write it. If you've got an algebraic expression where you're dividing by n, n in the denominator, or you have the square root of n or the cube root of n, it's not a polynomial. It's got to have whole number exponents there. And two polynomials are equi equivalent that if we get exactly the same volume by, if we substitute in a number, we get the same answer. If we change the order of a polynomial, it still would be equivalent. Like this one, c2x squared plus x plus 3. What if we went 3 plus 2x squared plus x? Well, we'd get the same answer. Say you put in 5 for x. And see, I rubbed out the x and put a 5 there. And then I went 2 times 5 squared is 50 plus 5 plus 3 is 8 equals 3 plus another 50 here in the middle plus 5. 3 plus 50 plus... Hey, they both equal 58. That's why they're equivalent. Two polynomials that are just the orders changed in them are equivalent polynomials. Now you're ready to do the questions. I hope.